how to add paypal smart button on shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today i'm going to show you how you can add the paypal smart button on your shopify store it is very easy and simple step to do all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you will be good to go the first thing that you have to do is to set up your shopify account then you have to list the products on your store after you have set up everything right here all you have to do is to open up a new tab and type elf elf site like this and you will see right here this is the website of elfsite.com right here we have this uh, elf site who for those who doesn't know what is uh, elf site elf site is a website that help you create widgets like here these are the widgets that can be uh, created uh, using elf site i am going to click uh, right here on the widgets here we have the menu i am going to search for paypal 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 button right here. I am going to click on PayPal button and it will be generating our PayPal button. As you can see here, we have four different type of PayPal buttons. We have the checkout button. We have the pay with PayPal button. We have the donation. We also, we have the subscription. In our case, we are going to work with pay with PayPal. And then after you have selected the template, I am going simply to click continue with this template. Right now, I am going to put the seller PayPal email. It is a very important and necessary step to do. For example, this is just an example as a little disclaimer, guys. Everything created in this video, such as email addresses, PayPal accounts, and a lot of uh, codes and um, numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. So you have to set up your own PayPal account to make everything and the payments goes directly to your PayPal account. Now for the payment type, you have the checkout, you have the donation or the subscription. Now we have a checkout account or a checkout payment type. The product, for example, I will name the product t-shirt. Let's name it t-shirt like this. The localization, you can put it whatever or wherever you want. The currency, you can put it uh, US dollars or uh, Euro. It is up to you to use the currencies. And for the price, you have to set up the price that you are going to put. For example, let's go with 19.99. Now the shipping price in the USD, you have to put, for example, a shipping price. Let's go ahead to put uh, $15 and the tax type, you can put non percentage or fixed. It is up to you. The redirect or the redirect URL after successful uh, transaction is to put them to your store. I am going right here to copy this link or copy the link of my store, then I will click on this and they will be guided to the store. Now, I, all I have to do when I finish this editing, also you can see the button before I finish everything, you can see right here the button, you can put a text above the button, for example, hello, like this, you can put right here a text or you can let it empty. You can, uh, the text button, you can put pay with PayPal, or you can put, for example, pay like this or let it right here. Uh, uh, now we have the button elements. We have the button text, PayPal icon, PayPal text. You can use the payment system icons. Of course, you can put whatever you want right here. If you want to make this and for the appearances, you can put the size button. You can put a size button for, for it. You can put the borders for the button. You can change the color of the button. You can also put the uh, original PayPal uh, logo color or the white one. It is up to you. And when you finish, you click simply on add to my website. Now it has been added. All I have to do to, is to click on publish. And as you can see right here, it is uh, published. We have here the access for the uh, PayPal button. All you have to do to install it uh, to your website is click on install. Right here we have the embed code or the share link or the request for installation. I will go to click on embed code, copy the code, go back to my store. 
right here I am going to the theme settings I am going to customize my theme of course you have to uh, select the current theme that you have I will go to put the um, for example the product or let's choose the product that I want to add this uh, PayPal with this is the product I am going right here on this section I want to add something I will click on uh, this here we have uh, so, why it is so uh, small I can add for example this add a block all I have to do when I add a block click on custom liquid then I have to paste the code right here now I will wait for it to appear and we have the PayPal paying button all I have to do to finish these steps click on save and I will be okay right here I am going to exit this editor then I will go to the uh, shop select the summer catalog select the product right here and as you can see we have two buttons we have this custom or this smart button and we have this standard button now for this standard button you can add it simply by going to your settings this is simple click on payments and all you have to do is to add uh, the additional payment method you can configure uh, the PayPal button uh, and you will be good to go if you don't want to configure it from here you can make it this smart button right here you can click on it and you will be guided to the PayPal and we have here the quantity the price of course if you don't want to confuse the customers and only use one of these buttons you can integrate the original PayPal button and exit this I am going right here to delete this button and only let the buy with PayPal right now the original one I am going to the uh, theme editor I will customize right here the theme and then I will delete the space or the uh, custom CSS or the liquid code that I have made right here I am going to click on it right here we have it and uh, Renko says I am not going to use this now for this space I am going to see right here now we have these product information I am not going to use the product information but the code or the liquid custom I will delete it and wait for it here we go I click on save and we will be good to go now I will refresh the page and as you can see it is gone we are only with the original PayPal button right here and it works now that was it that was all for today's video thank you guys for watching I hope that you saw this uh, tutorial helpful for you and useful and I hope to see you on the next one